Hey guys, it's Miss Ralph, and I'm going to show you my modeling of a song that I did, and I chose the Postal Service Such Great Heights, um, kind of off the top of my heads, just because I remembered the first few lines of the song, and I was like, oh, that's imagery, so I'll do that. Okay, so I have highlighted here, I'm thinking it's a sign as an important detail as the speaker in the song seems to believe that his love uh, for this person was court, sort of destined or predetermined. Um, I highlighted this for imagery, although it's changing the colors, it should be blue. Sorry, I'm gonna change that to blue, there we go. It is blue, you just can't see it in my video. Um, so, the freckles in our eyes are mirror images, and when we kiss, they're perfectly aligned. That is sight imagery, and I sort of infer from that that he does believe that they are destined to be together. Okay, and this next part is figurative language that uses both a simile and a hyperbole. And I have to speculate that God himself did make us into corresponding shapes, like puzzle pieces from the clay. Um... I think it's a hyperbole because I don't think anyone really believes that God did do that. And the puzzle pieces from the clay is a simile. Um, I highlighted this and it's true. It might, se might seem like a stretch because this is a moment where the speaker kind of acknowledges that they're being over the top and it creates a sense of doubt that I think is important later. And then here's some more figurative language that is a hyperbole. Missing you to death is a hyperbole. While the thoughts that catch my troubled head part um, sort of makes it seem like he doesn't really have a choice um, over the thoughts and that they're automatic. Again, emphasizing that this is all kind of predestined. And then this is an important detail um, that when you're out there on the road for several weeks of show, shows, this detail tells the reader that this couple is not together, that they're apart. And so there's some sort of kind of conflict here. They're not together. And then he says, when you scan the radio, I hope this song will guide you home. This is sound imagery, but also, I forgot to put this in my. Oh, I did put it. It's a detail that kind of emphasizes that he has some doubt about the relationship. Otherwise, why is he making this over the top song? Okay. And then there's some imagery. They will see us waving from such great heights come down now, they'll say. Again, this imagery emphasizes that uh, their, their love is otherworldly. And then he has this line about everything looking perfect from far away and then come down now. So he's acknowledging skeptics, right? That of course it looks perfect, you're far away. Um, so it's like he knows that this isn't really perfect and he's acknowledging that. And that's why that's an important detail. Um, and then we have some sound imagery to emphasize again, the, the um, force of his emotion and then it just kind of repeats the chorus and it emphasizes that their love is sort of intense and godlike and predestined, but also that from far away it looks perfect. So the tone of this thing, uh, song overall, um, there's a lot of hyperbole, a lot of over the top language. So I'm guessing that the speaker, though very much in love with this person, understands to some extent that there are issues, there's separation, that it's gonna be a challenge to stay in love. And so after kind of reading it through, and by the way, I've never even thought this deeply about this song, so this is interesting to me. Um, I came up with a thematic statement that sometimes love can seem perfect from afar, but in reality, nothing is perfect and even the most intense love will be tested. So it's kind of a song about, you know, uh, you know, we think that love is perfect and we're all really into it, but, you know, it's not. And close up, it's going to be, you're going to have issues. You're going to have problems. I hope they stay together. 
after, but I got to be honest, I just read online that Ben Gibbard wrote the song about Jenny Lewis when he was dating her, and I don't think that they're still dating, so I don't think it survived all the touring. Oh, well, it's still a pretty song, and I love it. Okay, guys, that's how it's done. Now do your own songs. <laughs>